Uh, so, uh, Benor. We're about to ask... Don't worry about the other settlements in the hold. Unwalled, lightly manned. Prime targets for those damn dragons. I work for them too. Anyway, Benor, so... We're about to ask the Jarl of Whiterun if he can help us keep a, uh, dragon in his castle. To be honest, I don't see this going well. I honestly... Honestly, if he says no, I'm not gonna blame him. But, maybe if we tell him the reason, maybe he'll listen to reason. <sighs> Cross your fingers, buddy. Cross your fingers. Hey, Earl. Uh, so I have uh, something to ask you. If you say no, I will understand, but I really, 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 really think you should agree to this because, uh,. If not, a lot of people are going to die. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Yeah, so uh, I have something to ask you. What is it that you need? So I... It comes to my attention that this place was once used to house a... Uh, a dragon. It's the name of uh, Dragon Reach. So, uh... Would you be able to maybe help me trap another... Because, uh, I kind of need to in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Actually, um, that's, uh, that's exactly what I asked. Look, you know I wouldn't ask if this wasn't important. Like, it's literally the only way we can defeat Alduin. I know, it's a big risk, it's a giant risk, but I can, I wouldn't be asking you this if it wasn't of utmost importance. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Look, I get it, it's... The risk is great, but I really, we really need to do this. If not, then, if not, then I don't know how else I'm going to defeat Alduin. Yes, we can keep fighting the dragons, but who's to say he's not going to keep bringing them back? Nay, he's going to get stronger and stronger in Sovngarde, and then we're going to be right back to where we were all those years ago. So come on, Jarl. Help me defeat the dragons. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? It's the only way. Please, just... There has to be something. There has to be some way that I can convince you. Some deal. We really need this, Jarl Margriff. Please. There must be another way. The risk is too great. The threat is a lot worse than we thought. It's not just dragons coming back. Alduin himself has returned. And not only that, but he is raising the dragons. He's bringing them back to life. And right now, he is in Sovngarde, feasting on the souls of your people. Of your soldiers. Of your ancestors. We need to do this. Please. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It doesn't have to be. I was chosen. I'm, I am the dragonborn. I can defeat him, but I need this favor. I need your help. It's the only way I can ever hope to defeat him. I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. 
That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way that, that I can find Alduin before it's too late. I was told your castle could house a dragon. That they could hold a dragon and trap one. So... It's really our only choice. I mean... That skull above your throne is not there for no reason. That is the skull of the dragon that was trapped here. If it can do it once, it can do it again. I don't know how, but we gotta take the risk. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Okay, you got a point there. You got a point. Hmm. What if you didn't have to worry about the enemy attack? What if I can find a way to stop it? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. The Greybeards normally don't like... They normally don't like getting involved in these matters. But considering the situation, they might be open to helping. I'll talk to Arngear. I'll see what he says. Like I said, I don't know what they'll say, but I think due to the situation, they might be willing to help. I Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. I'll be back when I talk to Arngear. Sorry, Banor, but we're going back to the top of the mountain. Uh, hey, uh, Arngear? Turns out I need to ask you for just one more little favor. Uh... I mean, if that's, uh, that's okay with you. Alduin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? <coughs> well, yes and no. I defeated him, but he got away. He apparently took some kind of portal up to Sovngarde and... I'm sure, as you know, he's now out of our reach. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I'm going to need your help to capture a dragon. It's... I know y'all normally don't do this, but... At least just, uh, hear me out. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Look, I'll worry about capturing it. I just need your help to at least put this war on a stalemate. Like, we don't have to stop it. We just need to put it on hold until this entire matter is done. So what do you say? Would you be able to help with that? You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Yara Balgriff is the only one that can help us do this. 
because he's the only one who has the capabilities to trap a dragon. And he's not going to help as long as this war is going on. So please, Arngear, there has to be something you can do. Anything? I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Exactly. Look. They both have their their grudges, but both the Nords and the Imperials both respect the Greybeards. They will listen. If you uh, demand to hold this council, both will come and they will show you respect. If not, I'll deal with it. So what do you say? Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Thank you. Breath and focus. Breath and focus. Yeah. <sighs> Well, Bynor, we got a bit of a trail to go on, but it'll be worth it. Are no longer needed. Look, I'm really sorry, but I I, gladly I gotta uh, the world. I gotta interrupt. With only the foolish or the courageous approach a yarl without summons. Do I know you? Uh, yes, we uh. We were in uh, Helgen. You were sitting across from me. I almost got my head cut off. Dragon. Choppy choppy. Ring any, ring any bells here? Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah, I was the one that uh, was taken from my, from my realm and ended up here and for some reason was sentenced to death for it. But, uh, but also, uh, I did help your friend Rayloff escape, and he said that he would vouch for me if I ever did come here. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's still in Riverwood, but he did say he vouched for me. Rayloff's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man, but he hasn't returned yet, so I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. No, we have something else to Imperial. plan. Speak with Galmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. I have a message from the Greybeards, and it is very urgent. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to help negotiate a peace, at least a truce, a temporary one at least, between you and the, Emp and the Empire, so that we can deal with this dragon menace that is plaguing the lands. It doesn't have to be a permanent one, just... Temporary enough for me to do what I need to do to save everyone. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Tullius and these politics be damned. There's a much bigger threat out there, and it's bigger than you, it's bigger than him, it's bigger than everything. Alduin has returned. So, screw your politics. We need to act now. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend, 
If that's true, we're all doomed anyway. And if it isn't true, well, then the fight to free Skyrim goes on. Either way, I don't see the use in talking to the Empire. The Greybeards are neutral. You know this. They will make sure that the Empire doesn't take advantage of anything that you want or anything that you do and make sure that they won't take advantage of any of you. So come on. Worst, worst case scenario, Talia says no and we're back to square one. You speak truly, Dragonborn. Sometimes the grubby business of politics clouds my eyes. Besides... It will be good to see High Rothgar again. So, you'll be there? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Okay. Benor, it's off to the Imperial City now. Are finding victory across the land. Off to the Imperial City now. I'm not looking forward to talking to this guy. Yeah, he, this is a guy that almost had my head I'm cut off for nothing. Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. You can sell off that junk. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Rift I remember Dawnstar you. And Winterhold support Do me a favor. Buzz off. Not a cause. It's a rebellion. You, Call I need to talk to you. you like, I remember man's going you. To try to take you were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. Excuse you? When I was at Helgen, you and your men almost put me to death. I'm not from your land, and you were going to kill me? For no crime I committed. So if you think I'm joining your army after everything that you put me through, <laughs> fat chance. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. So, how about you shut the fuck up and let's talk. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legate. I have a message from the Greybeards. I'm not... You want... Do you still want to keep this back and forth? Or do you want to listen? The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? First things first, you can start showing some fucking respect. They want to have a peace council at High Rothgar to put this war on pause. So, what's your answer? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. How about you put your pathetic little politics aside and focus on the fact that there's a dragon menace going on. I don't know if you've noticed in your ivory tower, but the dragon menace is a lot bigger than you and her and honestly everyone. <laughs> it's bigger than all of you. So, you gonna help? Or are you gonna see, are you gonna keep only seeing the world five inches in front of your face. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. So you're saying that a little rebellion is a bigger issue than dragons. Heh. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Well... Ulfric has already agreed to attend. And the Greybeards hold a lot of authority, hold a, a great deal of respect in this land. 
you telling them you're not going to show up to a peace talk that they never put on for anyone. Don't you think that's going to be disrespectful to them? Don't you think that's going to make people think you don't respect them? Don't you think that's going to make people turn against you? Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. So does that mean you'll come? Also, if you're going to come, all this little drama that you that you want to start, you can leave it at the door. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council for all the good it will do. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses. You know, I could just right kill them all in this room, and then the we'll. Hand, this war will be a lot over. Be over a lot faster. Well, if he wants but to I'm not gonna do that. The, the, the more people that die, the stronger Alduin gets. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. <sighs> if Alfrix make uh. Well, that was a lot of traveling, but I think we're ready to get underway with all this. Arngear, I have gotten them to all agree. Is everything ready here? So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Look, I understand that this isn't something y'all like to do, but you have to admit it is necessary for this. It's the only way we can get Balgriff's help, okay? I promise I will make it up to you with whatever you want whenever all this is done. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. I truly am but sorry. Regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Eh. No. 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 What are you doing here? So, Arngear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. The Creepers put you? me on the path. Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Alduin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Alduin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. You may enter. What are we waiting for? Get out. Take your seat, and we can begin. Esbern, look, I got nothing against you. You've actually been very polite to me. You've actually been very straightforward with me. Delphine? I don't trust her. But I guess if... Esbern makes a point. He knows a lot about what Alduin's doing. He knows a lot about Alduin. I guess he makes a good point that he has a right to be here. If we're going to do this, 
I'm not going to wear a helmet. Take your seat and we can begin. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult uh, us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Didn't long here, long. here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. Look, I get that you don't like her being here, but Tullius doesn't like her being here either. Like, so... Can't, can't we just get through this? Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Tullius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Look, we need this negotiation. Just let the Empire have their little, have their elf or whoever her name is. Let her stay and later you will get back at them. Trust me, we'll all get back at them. Mm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about, unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be We're able to here resist. To a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return? Wait, 
General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor. This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Arngear made a good point. If you're going to be giving up land, then it makes sense that he has to give up something too. It, you need to make a trade. Hmm. What about... What about... Riften? Would... Would Riften suffice to you? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. Just hear him out. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. I will throw you off this mountain. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... If he's right about Aldrin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and then Gear of Stoom resumes the Yalshin. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? I it refer. Seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? You know what? Thinking about it, I've actually been giving too much to the Empire. So you know what? Yes, yes, Alfric. I do agree. The Empire should hand over Falkreath to you. Doesn't that seem fair, Tullius? Elenwyn. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. 
Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoon will return as Jarl. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. Hear, hear. What about you, Elisir? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up. I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisith. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. We're counting on I you to make this all worthwhile. Jarl Balgruf. Don't worry. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn. Don't worry, Ulfric. Yes, I'm ready to do we'll, my part. We'll get back at them. Just Soon, Scar will be for all of us. Help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. When all is said and done, I'll be back to talk to you. To Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. So... How does this help? How, how does knowing his name help me? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. That does make sense because when Alduin first actually introduce himself he pronounced his name Alduin in three words but why would he come if I called his name he's not compelled to but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Okay then. By all means, what's his name? And... Are you sure this will work? Because there's a lot riding on this. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice. Like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Ode a Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. There is one more thing we know about Parkinson. There's one more thing we know about Parkinson. And what about him? What about Parthenax, Delphine? There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. And what about him? What do you know what? So, you're saying you know about him. About what? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Oh no! You're saying you're no longer gonna help me if I don't kill Parthenax? <laughs> Delphine, take your sword, take your 
little group take everything about you and the blades and everything that you want to do and shove it. You want to kill Parthenax, by all means, you go up there and attempt it. But I'm not gonna do it. Fuck you. And to hell with the blades. Come on, Benor. Let's get out of here. We got a dragon trap. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for this episode, which means we are now at the Dova Word of the Day. Since the last one was Father, today's Dova Word of the Day is Mona, meaning Mother. Uh, pretty sure there's a translation to it, too. But the Dova Word is, like I said, Mona, meaning Mother. And looking at it, Yes, that is exactly how you pronounce it. Mona. Uh, I'm trying to keep these a lot shorter because I know I tend to ramble a little too much whenever I do these. So, for now on, I'm just going to get right to the point with them. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. So, with all that being said... Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, leave a like. As always, please leave me a comment down below. Good comments are the only way I can improve these, and I love chat with y'all. Fuck you. And if you want to chat with me directly or check out updates on the channel, check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Antilles Gaming. I also have another channel where I post Fallout content. If you want to check that out, I'll have a link down in the description. Channel name is Cajun Wastelander. And with all of that being said, just a little closer. A little closer. With all that being said, I will see all of you in the really next episode. How's that, bitch? <laughs> oh, I love doing that. The witch is dead.